Well, hello, Blanca. Hello, teacher. All right, welcome, welcome. We'll begin here shortly. Hey. All right, nice to have you here. Hello, Miguel. Hello, Fredis. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Welcome. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Hello, Fredis. Did everything work out good, Fredis, with the questions? Everything yeah, actually, good? actually, on one, I, I had a mistake, but I think we haven't seen that class yet, so yeah. when we see it, I see the correction. Okay, yeah, we're going to work on that mainly is going to be tomorrow. Wow, okay. We're going to see if we have time a little bit, like the introduction of it, a little bit, because I want to teach you more than just the adjectives with enough. I want to yeah. teach you also with verbs, with the infinitive, and with nouns. And like, we, like I saw in one of those that you sent me that... It, when in the beginning of the page it says um, use after after using um, the words use enough, but in the in the platform it, it said that we have to use enough. But in one that you send it to me, it, we don't use enough. It's exactly. Like, yeah, I think it's number two or three. I can't remember which one it was. Yeah. Right. Yeah, I saw that, but. You know, the instructions can be a little deceiving, right? It's like, yeah. I told myself, why isn't enough being used? Because the instructions say use enough, right? So that's why it's always good to notify me. That way I can verify and I can give you the, the, correct, uh, the correct wording, right? To help you. Because actually right there, I believe it's a mistake, right? Because yeah. the instructions say you have to use enough right <laughs> so well thank you please right and uh, uh I, i'm very happy i could help you with that okay yeah. all right and then uh, you know uh, i get to see also some other things that maybe need to be corrected in the platform and i'm willing to help you with that right anytime anytime yeah. okay. all right no problem mm, hello jackie welcome I, read, I can read your message here and good evening everyone. Okay, welcome Jackie. Let me see. And what I'm going to do, like for example, Predis, by next Wednesday, we can review the the um the midterm of in other words the exam we can do some of those activities in class all right so we can work on that we'll uh, gladly work with y'all as a group and get some of those questions in the uh, in the activity in class oh perfect all right that way i don't have to worry about it let me see and then we can do it as a class, you know, everyone participates and then I can be like, okay, correct this, but not just give you the answer, you know, get y'all to, to actually work as a class doing the questions together. Huh? And that way we can all learn together also. Let me see. So we, we're getting the majority here connecting already and going to begin. But that was a good um that was a good question you asked me, Fede, because I know there's going to be some that are going to ask the same question, especially on that one that it doesn't it doesn't take enough. All right, it doesn't take the word enough. So I I'm pretty sure everyone will get it incorrect. Right, we're getting correct, but thank you for pointing that out. And I already have it as part of my notes to make sure that 
you guys get it correct. Teacher, okay, Jennifer, no problem, no problem. I will gladly let you participate. I will never say no, okay? So let me know when you're ready, Jennifer, okay? And maybe the rest of the classmates would want to see your uh, your presentation, okay? No problem, Jennifer. Thank you for letting me know, and I understand, okay? No problem, Jennifer. You just let me know when you're ready, okay? And then I can, uh, I can pass you so you can give your presentation and the rest of your classmates can, uh, can, can hear you. And I'm also going to give you uh, access to share screen. So if you have any, any, anything that you would like to share with the class, Jennifer, feel free to, to do so, okay? Whenever you are ready. Okay, let me get this attendance going. Well, hello everyone. See the majority are here right now. Hello. Good evening. Welcome. Welcome. Good evening, teacher. Okay. Welcome. Welcome. Nice to have you all here. Okay. Hello, Flor. You're stretching. Getting ready. <laughs> Hard day of work today, huh? Let me... Good evening, teacher Jess. Yeah. I was, how, how do you say? Hmm? Stretch. This? Stretching? Ah, uh, stretching. Yeah, stretching. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, that's good, right? Stretching. Yes, I was the stretching. <laughs> okay. Now, um, for those of you that, that didn't attend the class yesterday, right? I believe it was like three people, three of you, and... Let me turn off my microphone over here. Okay. Now, it was three of you, and I know one already said that she wants to give her presentation, right? As far as the, the product mix. And we're just going to give her some time whenever she's ready, and uh, that will be Jennifer. Okay, so she's going to give her presentation today. Although the, the price was one yesterday right but she still wants to participate so yesterday the the winner um was rolando right he uh he won first place and i already i already sent him the prize okay so he already received it is that correct rolando is he there he said that he will buy he will buy donuts for us <laughs> I think he's out of the camera. He was right there. Rolando, hello. Hello, I'm you, here. Okay, you have the other. Um, yeah, I, yeah. I will. I will close the another. Okay, another great. Yeah, okay, I have. Yeah. I, <laughs> in case the, okay. whenever the administration joins, they're gonna be like, "Hey, hold on," and they're gonna send me a message. Henry, you have two Rolandos there. <laughs> 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 no, I I will I will close. All right. Yeah. Te teacher. Yes. Okay. Rolando, tell me that buy donuts for classmate. Okay. Yeah, for classmate, right? So you want? Uh, yes. You are, uh, Can you tell the class, Rolando? Aquí enfrente de todo, se ya recibió usted el premio? Yes. Yes. Okay. In the morning, I receive it in the morning. And thanks. No problem, right? I keep my word, right? Okay. I love this gold, right? So you won that money. So I sent you that money to you, Rolando. And thank you for everyone for participating, right? Now, I'm going to be honest, okay? Yo voy a ser honesto y claro, right? I took note. Tomé nota de todos los que dieron su voto. And I'm going to say it in Spanish because I don't know si hubo una misunderstanding. Eh, les pedí el voto ¿verdad? a cada uno de ustedes para un compañero o una compañera. Pero fíjense que hubieron dos 
que no mandaron su voto, no votaron por nadie. Y aunque no lo crean, ustedes dos, no voy a decir nombres, ustedes recibieron un voto de alguien más, pero ustedes no votaron por, por alguien. Nomás para que quede claro. Y otra persona votó por sí misma. Y es todo. Right? <laughs> All right. So, I just want to clarify that. Okay? So, even though I asked, yo pedí en, eh, que votaran. Algunos no lo hicieron, pero cada quien, ¿verdad? Eh, eh, así quedó. Y pues, eso no hubo, como le diga, uh, no tuvo efecto. Okay? No tuvo efecto porque eh, Rolando obtuvo seis. Right. And you, and did you confirm to everyone that has been voted? Yes. No. I com I confirmed it to the group. Okay. I can tell you right now, Diana, you came in second. Okay. Nice. You came in second for sure. And then everybody else just received one vote. Todos los demás recibieron a uh, un un voto. Okay. But there was only two people that didn't vote. Okay, y let me see, and one person voted for themselves. But other than that, everybody received one vote. Eh, un voto recibieron casi todos. Eh, bueno, algunos no recibieron ninguno, right? Pero ahí fueron ustedes, right? Ahí fueron ustedes, right? Um, and it was six votes for Rolando. Pretty much, eh, nadie lo podía alcanzar. Aunque esos dos votos... Eh, hubieran tomado en cuenta no hubieran podido alcanzar porque hubiera llegado usted a cuatro votes Diana right so you had two votes Diana and then everyone else had one uh, the, the other people had one but you you came <laughs> so that that's how the vote was right but it was good it was good I'm glad y'all participated and y'all y'all had a um, yeah, I think you're Teacher, in that activity. Yes, Blanca. What, what was the product of Rolando? Ah, what I was didn't the came uh, yesterday. Okay, his product. I hope anyone vote for me. <laughs> I hope so. Okay. okay, so we I took a list, right, Blanca? I took a list of everyone right before we voted yesterday. Eh, yo di el listado de todos los que participaron y el producto. Okay? So you were number one at the beginning and then two, three, four, five, uh, y así sucesivamente. All right? So we went over it. We went over it in class. And, uh, and that's how we came up with the vote yesterday. But um, I, hope, I hope we can do it in another activity like this, right? I hope we can do another activity like this, maybe at the end. Okay, we'll see how the the module works out and do something uh, similar. I have to look and see what activity, maybe the last week. Um, I will figure something out. I might do another one, it's possible, all right? That I might do another activity where there will be prices, all right? prices. I don't know, maybe a gift card somewhere at, at a restaurant or something. I don't know. All right, we'll think about something. But, um, okay. And let me see. Juan Jose, you have a question? I see your hand. Do you have a question, Juan Jose? No? I see your yes, hand. Yes, but not a question. Ah, okay. Uh, is that I, no, no, it's not a question. Okay. Do you hear me? Yes, I can hear you, Juan Jose. Yes, I can hear you. Yes, I try. Mm. Okay, I am, um, I am problem with my internet in this moment. Um, I am connected with my cellular phone. I don't know how for how time. Okay. Um, I at least I hope that at least uh one hour. I hope. I, okay. Uh, because uh, when I came to to my house, uh, we don't have internet. I tried. I tried. Okay. One well, hour Pablo, at least. <laughs> okay. This is my recommendation uh, to you, Juan Jose. If you turn off your camera, you will uh, not lose 
that much uh, megabytes. So it will last a little bit longer. Okay, so if you want to turn off your camera, you can. All right, that way you can save more uh, okay. or internet on your phone. Okay, it doesn't run out. More time. Yes, more time. Okay, uh, my, my, the, pro, the internet in my house, it, it, um, it's very difficult in this moment. Yesterday I have a problem when I send you my, um, my work, I couldn't uh, send you. Uh, but uh, uh, then I send you, but I, I could, I, I have problem for, to okay. send you. Juan Jose, yesterday, cuando yo le pedí eso, no era el trabajo, le estaba pidiendo el voto. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's why I, I don't know if you misunderstood me, right? Por eso yo dije yo, si usted lo puede escribir en el Zoom, ¿por qué no me lo manda? But you were trying to send me the work. Y no era el trabajo, era el voto. Yes, yes. Está... <laughs> yes. I wouldn't understand. I wouldn't That's understand in this okay, in, yes. in that moment. So... But my, my bot, it was for Rolando, too. Ah, okay. So ya tiene siete, entonces. All right. All right. So, all right. So you have seven <laughs> votes. All right. Seven votes. That's what I was asking for when I was saying, incluso en el grupo, you send me the work. I'm and curious. Wanna... I'm curious about the product of Rolando. I don't oh. know what is the product. Okay. Why now, he won yesterday. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, Rolando, um, can you tell her something or you can tell her to watch the recording and she can see all the products, right? All the products. You can watch the video recording or you can tell her right now, Rolando, whatever, whatever, Rolando, your product. For Blanca. Uh, my product was a um, uh, device to reuse the water, the dirty water. Yeah, normally when you go to the bathroom, uh, you wash your hands and take a shower. Yeah, and the objective to this, pro the, this product is recollect the water, the dirty water, and fill the tank of the toilet and and you say water say money and say the word yeah this is the 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 uh the idea to the to my product yeah yeah it was excellent it was called it was called Rewe nine right Rewe Rewe nine. Is Rewe nine. <laughs> nine that's what it was the name of the product right all right, that, that was a reusable product, right? That was his product, Blanca. Uh, let me see, Jennifer teaches. Okay, I'm going to do the attendance. Now that the majority is here, I'm going to take the attendance and then, uh, Jennifer, will you be ready? Or let me know, Jennifer? I'll let you know. Okay, let me know, okay? No problem. Let me know. Okay, someone said a message right here saying uh, he promised us donuts. <laughs> two for one, two for one. I think in La Francesa, right, or something like that. They have two for one donuts, right? I'm sorry, but the file is really longer and I can bite it. Tomorrow, maybe. <laughs> They're asking for donuts, right? They're asking for donuts. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Steve Floyd, she wants donuts and coffee and everything that comes with it, right? All right, let me see. Okay, let's take the attendance. The first one. Okay, today is Tuesday, Marcus. Okay, Abigail. Present. Okay. Okay. Beatriz. Beatriz. Okay, I can see you right there. You're in uh, in Montana, somewhere in Canada. Right. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Blanca. Present. Okay, thank you. Brenda. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. All right, um, Carlos. Carlos. I, I'm present teacher. Okay, thank you. Diana. 
present. Okay, thank you. Edwin? Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Flor? Present. Okay, thank you. <clears throat> Francisco? Present. Okay, thank you. I'm here. All right, Freddy, thank you. Glenda? Present. Okay, thank you. Iris? Iris. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Jackie? Present. Okay, thank you. Jarvin? Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Jennifer? Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Juan Jose? Yes, teacher, I'm here. Okay, thank you. And Miguel? I am here, teacher. Okay, thank you. Fabio? Present. Okay, thank you. Rolando? I'm here. All right, thank you. And Janari? I'm here, teacher. Okay, thank you. Okay, we have 100% attendance. Everyone is here today. All right, that's good. That's the second time. All right. 100%. Okay, great. Awesome. Okay, let's go with the presentation. All righty. Okay. Now, let me see. It is. Okay, teacher. Uh, why is pricing important? Pricing strategies, pricing objectives, research activity. Very good. Continue the date. Tuesday, September 28th, 2021. Okay. Very good. Excellent. Thank you, Edith. And today is class number nine, right? Class number nine. So we're going to continue where we left off yesterday. We were talking about why is pricing important, right? I gave you a little introduction about that so we can refresh for today. And we're going to do pricing strategies and pricing objectives and a research activity. This research activity is really two, okay? I changed it, it's going to be two. To research activities. All right. So we're going to do some uh, group activities also. And I, in this group activities, I will let you know the instructions. And if we have time, I'm also going to introduce a little bit of grammar. Okay. A little bit of grammar related to enough modifying adjectives. Okay. That is. If you're probably wondering, that is on page uh, 20, and most likely we are going to focus on that tomorrow because I want to expand the grammar, not just for adjectives, but using them with verbs and nouns also. Okay, so not just adjectives, I'm going to amplify that. But we are going to be focusing today on page 19, page 19, okay? Yesterday we were barely touching it. So as a review, 
let's begin with the solid topic one more time this is just the intro we saw it yesterday i believe diana read this yesterday but let's just read it one more time to refresh ourselves and uh, freddy's can you read it please yes oh excuse me no problem why is pricing important if a business sets the wrong price for its goods or service, they run the risk of losing customers or not attracting customers in the first place. If they set the price too high, customer might go to another, might go to a competitor to get better value for money. If they set the price too low, the business might not make enough profit to survive. Okay, very good. Can you repeat this word right here, Freddy's? My. May. Hey, yeah, maybe. I'm sorry. Okay. Very good. Very good. Excellent. All right. Everything else is perfect. Thank you, Freddy. Now, we, this is, we talked about this yesterday about why is price important, right? Why is price important? A lot of companies, a lot of entrepreneurs, they, they set a standard price. Sometimes it varies, right? Sometimes they put discounts, for example, on Black, on Black Friday or those types of days or holidays. Now, I want to ask you something. How many of you spend a lot or more than the usual when Black Friday comes or Black Month or Black Week? How many of you actually go and buy stuff? Tell me your experience. Share with a brief, okay? I want it to be brief. Has anyone bought something that they felt like they got a good value at a low price? Knowing that maybe it cost a lot, but you got it very good, a very good price, although you paid very little or not too much of the amount, but you know you got a good quality of a product. Has anyone ever bought something like that? Where you're like, ha, I see gané, right? Diana? She's eating the donut, teacher. What happened? She's eating the donut that Rolando gave I was distracted. <laughs> okay. She's eating donuts. Somebody said, okay, Beatriz, can you, can you give us an example then of the question that I asked? Yes. In my case, I don't like those calculations kind of promotion because finally you buy things that you don't need. <laughs> you, end up good. Spend, you end up spending if, more, right? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Sometimes those kind of promotions are, are good if you really need something to buy. But the experience, you finally buy things you don't need. Okay. Okay. Anyone else? Thank you, Beatriz. Anyone okay. else has, has really bought something that you know the price was higher, but you got it at a good, a good price. In other words, you got a good quality of a product and you pay very little for it. Do you remember ever buying something like that? Where you know like right now it's probably a little bit more than it was? Rolando? Me, teacher. Okay, go ahead, give us an example. Uh... Last year during the quarantine, I was looking for a laptop. I was looking for a new laptop. And I was looking for a Dell laptop. I I wanted a, a laptop with SSD yes. disk. S SSD. Uh, right? Yes. Also with uh, eight generation the CPU. Mm -hmm. CPU, CPU. Yes, uh, CPU. <laughs> and the, the capacity, the memory uh, was uh, really high. Uh, it was one terabyte. Mm -hmm. So I, I got wow. that laptop in $600 in Marketplace Facebook. Yeah, all right, very good. You got a great deal. You got a great deal, yes. right? 
Okay, what brand is it, Abigail? What brand? Bell. Bell, all right. Yeah, you got a great deal, right? You got a great deal. Yes, SSD. Do you know what SSD means? Alguien sabe qué significa SSD? I see Fabio right there. What does it mean? In my solid phone. state disk. Mm -hmm. Solid state drive or solid state disk, right? Solid state drive. Yes, solid state. Very good. That is correct. It's probably the fastest drive you can get right now on the market, right? It is. Right? It's the fastest. It's not HDD. It's SSD. Yes. Perfect. Very good. Very good example, Abigail. Anyone else? Anyone else that has bought something that you know it costs more, but you paid a lower price with a high quality? Has anyone, has anyone bought something like that? No? No one else? Okay, let's I, go. I never, I never have money for this time. <laughs> Me neither. Okay. And I, and I always had bad luck with the shopping. <laughs> with the shopping, all right. Okay. I had bad luck with the technology because uh, always that I buy, I buy, I bought something that it's technologic. Uh, always, always get ruined. Uh, later. <laughs> mm -hmm. So oh, you I think... have that look with that. Okay. Thank you, Blanca. And why why am I asking this, right? Why am I asking this? Because there's going to be an activity for you guys later on in the class where you're going to research products and categorize them according to your perspective. Blanca, you're probably gonna do good here, right? Because you're like bad luck, right? According to your perspective then give your explanation, right? So I have here price and quality, a high price, low quality, high price, high quality, low price, low quality, or low price, high quality, like Abigail said, right? She paid a very low price for a high quality product, right? I think I have bought a few items, you know, on my behalf that have been low price high quality right and um i think that laptop that i bought last year right now it costs more it costs more i think it's like 300 dollars more and when I, I i mentioned this to you yesterday right about the experience that i had with the dell laptop that i bought in san salvador it was the last one and I was like, hey, give it to me, right? The last one, and I bought it. Give it here, right? Give it here, and I bought it, the last one, right? So I, we're going to do an activity like this, but it's going to be later on. And going to focus a little bit on um, pricing. The strategies that companies use for pricing. There's a strategy that they use, and we're just gonna do a little bit, a little bit of, uh, of analysis, a little vocabulary, because they have what is called um, pricing objectives. Pricing objectives, right? Los objetivos del precio, right? This is this is related to how companies analyze and formulate a price. This is just a little bit of vocabulary so you can get a little bit of, of more information in relation to pricing. Okay, let's look at this. Pricing objectives, right? The objectives of setting a price. This is what companies do. Uh, number one, we have, uh, I'm not going to read, um, Beatriz, can you read number one, please? Profit, profit maximization. Keeping in mind revenue. Reven and revenue. Revenue and cost. A company may want to maxim, maximize. Profit, maximize profit. Profit. Profit yes. maximization. Objectives should belong 
term and not focus only on the short term. Okay, very good. So profit maximization refers to just profit, okay? Just profit, right? Try to get as much as possible. That is profit maximization. What, how much can we actually make in profit, right? Some people set, set a goal. A lot of companies set goals, right? I don't know if you worked on companies where they have a graph and they say by the end of the month, we need to make this much profit. Have you wor ever worked at a place like that? Anyone? I have. Has anyone worked at a place que hay un límite como de, de, que la empresa se pone cada mes? Tenemos que llegar a este límite. Have you ever worked for a company like that? Where you just set a profit maximization? No? Never? Okay, maybe only in the United States. Okay. Because when I worked over there, they had they had set set those standards like that. Maybe they don't do that here in El Salvador. Okay. I thought they did, pero quizás no. Okay, so that is profit maximization, right? So this is for long term, for long term, not short term. Not how much can I make in two months or in three months or quarterly, right? But how long can I make in the long term? So they do graphs, right? They do graphs that say, okay, this month we did this. So next month, we cannot go lower than that. We have to go a little bit higher and higher and higher and higher. And they set up a, a, yearly, a yearly maximization profit goal, five years, maybe 10 years. So this is not something like from, from today to tomorrow, right? This is profit maximization. Teacher, I have a question. In profit maximization? is like as uh, goals of company. Yes, that is, they set those goals also. Are those related to pricing? They set those prices for this objective, not just for pricing, but for profit, like the ganancia, right? This is profit, okay? For example, I'm going to give you an example. It is real plain, real smooth. If, for example, I sell, I sell tamales, for example, right? Just something brief. I sell tamales, how much? 50 cents per tamal, right? Why, why have I set that pricing? Why can't it be $5 a tamal, right? Why can't it be 25 cents? Why does it have to be 50 cents or 60 cents, right? There's a reason for that. So, Whenever we talk about the profit, this means after expenses. So after the, the ingredients, after maybe you pay taxes, right? You have a profit. That profit, you look at it and say, okay, I made $5, $10 today. But then you look at how much you can make in a year, right? Long-term goals, not just daily, but long-term goals for a company. So then you see how profitable you are as a company. So not just daily, but how profitable are you? What are your goals set? Are you going to raise it a little bit more next year, right? To gain more profit, maybe a little bit more next year because as years go by, products go a little bit higher also, right? Minimum wage goes up gas prices go up and so forth, right? So you see the tendency here. You see this, that's why it's not short-term, it's long-term, it is. Okay, thanks. Okay, no problem. All right, the next one, Fredis, can you read the next one, please? Yes, just give me a second. I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger on my screen so I can read it better. Okay, you know what? I can probably help you. Is that better? Yes. Okay. You right. Yes, sir. Uh, what? How do you say this word? Revenue. 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 Maximization. 
with less focus on profits, a company might focus on increasing, uh, what do you said, revenue. Revenues. Revenues in order to increase market shares and lower costs in the long terms. Okay, this is revenue maximization, right? This is with less focus on profit. Here we have profit, right? <clears throat> yeah. We have profit. Remember, profit is when you take when you also take out what your costs, your expenses, right? Aquí le disminuimos los costos and profit, right? Eso se le llama la ganancias. Yes. In profit. Revenue, revenue means everything that you get in. Revenue, revenue is como todos los ingresos, right? Everything that you get in and you focus okay. less on profit, okay? okay? This is just another strategy, okay? The company may focus on increasing revenues in order to increase market share. And basically here, uh, it's a little bit different, okay, than in El Salvador. When we talk about market share, we're talking about ya relacionado con la bolsa de valores, all right? We're talking about stocks, all right? We're talking about investments, okay? So a lot of companies focus more on revenue than profit because of market share, right? In la bolsa de valores, right? Now, has anyone, I just want to ask, has anyone ever tried or has invested in the stock market in the United States or any stock market? But the most secure are the American stock, right? The New York Stock Exchange, NASDAQ, Fortune 500, to name a few. Anyone? Or does anyone have any idea or experience? Uh, no, yes, maybe, no? No, not teacher. Okay. Okay. Just no, to give... No. Okay, that's another level. That's, that's another level. Okay, look. <clears throat> the majority of Americans, and I'm going to be straightforward, okay, and be honest with you. A lot of people, a lot of people <clears throat> in, um, in the United States, they invest. Ellos invierten su dinero in the stock market, right? Here, when people say, voy a invertir, they, they have this like bad ideas or no, robo dinero, la, la, all these different types of things, right? But when you go outside of this culture, I'm telling you this because I have lived and worked in the United States, all right? For my experience, it's to the, 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 the economic mindset is totally different. The education is totally different, all right? So the standards are totally different. And I'm going to give you an example. The savings, all of you work, right? Todos ustedes han trabajado o trabajan actualmente. Where do you send your retirement funds? ¿A dónde mandan su dinero de retiro para retirarse en el futuro? Where do you send it? Or where does it go? AFP. Okay, AFP, right? Okay, AFP, or los que están en la forma antigua, tiene otro nombre, right? But there's, there's those um, AFPs, right? Yes, yeah, true, my dad, it's with the East. Exactly, right? That's with the government one, right? The yeah. state, the state one, right? Now, the same thing is in the United States. They have a, re, uh, a retirement plan, right? When you retire from your job, when you reach a certain age, and then you work, accumulate to a certain number, you can retire, right? And then you get a check every month. But there's a difference. That's what the social security. Exactly, exactly. All right? Exactly, right? El seguro social, right? Now, that money that people save in the United States, you can invest that money. 
allá ese dinero se puede tocar y lo puede invertir y usted adquiere las ganancias y le mandan cheques cada mes o cada seis meses o cada cuatro meses. Depends on how you do your payment. So you can say, yo quiero invertir en Apple. I want to invest in Walmart. I want to invest in Microsoft. I want to invest in Dell. I want to invest in McDonald's. Quiero poner mil aquí, dos mil aquí, everything like that. With your money, right? They call it 401k plan. And you receive money. Here, you don't do that, right? They do it. Aquí ellos hacen eso. With, your, with the money of the people, right? And I'm not trying to get into like, oh, any type of dilemmas or is not true. Because I have lived both cultures. So I know. All right? And I can tell you that the truth is like that. All right. So a lot of people in the United States invest a lot in the stock market. That's why when they retire, they have big homes, they have nice cars, and they travel after working for so long. And then you probably wonder, oh, son ricos y todo. No, they work 30 years just like everyone else, right? 30 años de trabajo and everything. But they invested their money. And in 30 years, ooh, they gained so much so much all right and that is the difference that is the difference so this is what is talking about market share yes and a person that has that tps can do that too mm, i'm not sure if you can because the the rules change but if you have a social social security and you have yeah. a legal status you can invest in any company you can invest in any company my parents there over there Maybe they could try it. Yeah, if they can work legally, they can invest. Wow, oh, okay. They can invest. You, you, you can invest. Now, I tried, uh, I tried many, a few years ago. I have a little bit of investments on my own, but I, I remember years ago, I tried to invest when I came over here uh, many years ago. And I tried to invest. They wouldn't allow me because I was in El Salvador. I couldn't, I had to be in the United States right to do uh, uh to create a a portfolio se le llama un, portaf un portfolio a stock market portfolio right i couldn't do it here on my computer because it showed that i was in a salvador oh <laughs> so uh, you know the, but if you're over there you can do it with the companies over there now you can do it with other platforms now you can you can invest but many years ago you couldn't here in El salvador you couldn't but now you can Right, but I'm pretty sure Freddy is that over there, anyone that's over there and can work, they can invest in any company they want. Okay. Yeah. Okay, very good. And uh, let me see. Let's continue. Maximize. Rolando, can you read, please? Maximize quantity. 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 Maximize quantity. A company may want to sell a specific number of items, items. to decrease ah, numbers of items to decrease long term costs. Very good. Maximize quantity. Here we're talking about just quantity, right? For example, um, if you only have a product quantity of, I don't know, maybe 500, 500 items and you want to maximize, this is what he's just talking about. Increasing the number of your product, basically, okay? Increasing the number of your products to decrease long-term costs. So you can buy in quantities better and have a lot and sell cheaper. Okay, continue please, Flor. Is maximize profit margin. Another objective may be to increase the profit margin for each unit and not focus on the total number of units sold. Okay, maximize the profit margin. Here, this is another objective or another perspective that companies may, may use when they want to increase just the profit margin 
for each unit, for each unit, and not focus on total number of units sold. This is a strategy that, for example, has anyone seen Ali, Al, Alibaba or something like that? Those that sell online? Has anyone? Yes. Okay. Uh, or I Ali, like to buy in AliExpress. Ah, AliExpress. All right. Yes, we have a good option. All right, very good. So now, why did I mention that? Why did I ask for that? Because they can sell in large numbers, right? Right? You can order like 500 of one product or something like that. Ahí tienen también como en cantidades santas, right? Uh, who said AliExpress? ¿Quién mencionó AliExpress? Me, me, me. Okay. Me teacher. Uh, you, Carlos? Yes. All right. So when you go to those apps or when you order online through through AliExpress or Alibaba, you can I, you can buy individual products or you can buy in hundreds, in hundreds. Yes. Yes, it is. I mean, and I try in, in which too. Okay. In which, which is uh, another app. Yes, another app. Which one do you like the most? Uh, like, I think that maybe AliExpress will be better because it is 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 say safer than other application. I think. Okay, it's safer, safer, right? Uh, sa safer. Okay, so you have more trust, so you feel more comfortable, right? That is correct. So that is what he's talking about. Some companies may focus on just the profit on just one individual product, one by one, or in the totality of the products. Let's continue, please. Um, let me get um, Jackie. Uh, number five. Yes. Quality leader. Leader? It's correct, the yes. pronunciation? Yes, that is correct, leader. leader. Leader, okay. A company may want to use price to signal high quality and establish itself as the quality leader. Very good, very good. So here, companies set the price based on leadership. What, so what does this mean, right? we're talking about high not quite we're talking about high quality high quality i think in apple when when we talk about quality leader okay yes very good apple right quality leader right who is the leader in uh in the search mechanism when you put something on google google, google right google and what will be number two Anyone? Anyone use another uh, research app to look online? Everyone uses Google? Nobody uses Sometimes, another? Sometimes, um, before the Google was uh, Explorer. Okay. All right. All right. That was, uh, uh, I think it was Microsoft, right? No, but, but I think that it's, uh, the navigation um, yes the navigation but no no it's the search one because yahoo works with the search of terms or something like that but in this moment i think the google it's is the king of the of the search yes google right does anyone use fox or something like that i think it's fox yes fox Okay, who uses Fox? Anyone? Anyone use Fox? No? Or Firefox, I think is what it's called, Firefox, as your uh, search mechanism. Okay, no one? I know some people that use Firefox, right? And I think another one, Duck, Duck something, has a little duck. I can't remember the name. Right. So quality leader. Go, I think is the one. Yeah, something like that, uh, Fabio. Right, where they don't they don't keep track of you or something like that. Right. <laughs> Google does. Google keeps track of everything. Right. I think that one doesn't. You can search whatever you want, 
y no hay registro en esa. Duck, duck. What is the name of it, Fabio? Duck and go. Duck and go, yes. Right? It has a little duck as a logo. I've seen some people use that also. What about Microsoft Edge? Oh, Edge, right? That one also, right? That one also, right? That is correct. Microsoft Edge. It has like a little circle like that, right? Yeah, it's like blue or something like that. All right. And okay, that that is just, you know, you, re, you we recognize the leaders, right? We recognize the top notch. And then let's look at the next one. Uh, um, Janari, can you read the next one, please? Marshall? Which one? I'm sorry. I, I, six, number six. Yes. The cost recovery. If an organization has multiple revenue streams, it may not be too focused on re recovering 100% of its cost. Okay. All right. So we have, this is partial cost recovery, right? So this is basically when, when companies say, you know what, it doesn't matter. No importa si perdemos un poquito, right? Some companies are like that, right? There are companies that say, no, we cannot lose a dollar. And then five years later, right? But sometimes good ethics or good customer service, even if you lose a little bit, you gain more at the end, right? And those are well-respected companies. I think that some that were very famous for that was Southwest Airlines in the United States many years ago. Southwest Airlines, Freddy, is you shaking your head like, yeah, ya sabe lo que me refiero, huh? All right, then you know what I'm talking about, Freddy, right? All right, tell the class, Freddy, what do you know about Southwest Airlines? Que yo diga todo. Uh, Southwest, Southwest Airlines always gives you like the most cheapest uh, flight to anywhere in the United States. Very good, right? And they had a, they had a slogan, right? Ellos tenían un slogan. También, right? And they had like pretty much set the price. You couldn't beat it, right? I, I traveled with Southwest Airlines, right? I remember going from, uh, um, I'm going, going from uh, Houston to California, right? And I, and I was like, what? Right? It was like $90, right? <laughs> and I was like surprised. And I so, was like. Sometimes it was like $60. Yeah, right. And yeah, it went that low sometimes, right? And and I bought the tickets when it was uh like during Holy Week, right? Semana Santa. So the prices should have been a little bit higher, but they were not that high, right? Many years ago. And I was like, hey, I'm going here. And I flew. I flew and good service, right? But some companies, that's why they go like bankrupt sometimes for not being too ethical, but Southwest Airlines maintain a slogan and I'm going to give it to you. They said that the customer is always right. Imagine this a slogan. All right, friends, you know what I'm talking about, right? The cust when they would give commercials on TV, they would say, flight Southwest Airlines, blah, 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 right? Where the customer is always right. I even importa si El que la tiene la culpa fue el piloto or whatever. If you say you're correct, they believed you. <laughs> they believed you, right? And whatever they could do to help you, give you an, a free ticket or something, they were willing to do that, okay? This is something in relation to partial cost recovery. And some companies do it also because they get revenue from different areas. So they don't mind losing a little bit of money. This is why it's called uh, multiple revenue streams. Eso se refiere. Multiple revenue streams means they got money coming from different places. Right? Tienen dinero de diferentes partes. Right? Streams. That's what it means. Streams. Okay? No, no es que son ríos. Okay? O quebraditas. Right? All right. Continue, please. Uh, Blanca. Survival. Survival. 
Okay. Sometimes the best a company may want to do is to cover costs and to remind the market. If the market is in decline or there are too many competitors, survival may take temporary, temporary priority of their profit. Okay, priority, priority. Priority, priority. Profit, okay. profit. Okay, profit, all right. Como cuando dicen profeta, right? Profit, profit, all right. Now, here's survival. Huh, survival, right? Sobrevivir, right? This is just survival. Sometimes the, be the best a company may want to do is just cover, right? No más llegar a flote, right? That we may say it. So, have we seen that recently? Did we see that last year? Survival? Miramos eso en algunas empresas el año pasado y este año during the pandemic? Yes, right? Many companies were just, hey, you know what? Let's, let's not worry too much about profit. Let's just worry about survival, right? No nos preocupemos en la ganancia, sino sobrevivir en el mercado, right? Survival. This is what he's talking about, survival. That is another objective. Some companies, I think that it's still in that process. Yes, exactly, right? They're still in bad situations. And that leads to the last one, right? That leads to the last one here. Let me see. Um, Miguel. Status quo. This is the, the correct? Yes. Quo. Yeah, status quo. Okay. Yes. Status quo. Okay. There, there may be a need to avoid price wars with competitors so a company may maintain a stable price to continue a stable profit level okay profit 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 okay mm -hmm. okay i want all, there has been too many errors with this pronunciation and it's time to correct it finally okay it's profit profit do not get profit, okay. Yes, do not get confused with the I and say profit. I know the word fit exists, but this word is pronounced profit. Profit. Okay. Thank you, Miguel. Good reading. And that is correct. Status quo, right? Status quo. What is that? What is that uh that Miguel read? Ha, can someone give me an example of this in El Salvador? I can give you one right now. Can someone give me a good idea? Just think about it, analyze it. Where do you see this? To avoid price wars. Para evitar las guerras de precio, right? Peleas, right? Where do you see that? Well, I see that on gas stations sometimes. All right, gas stations, very good. Yeah, there is a, a some gas stations that only that always have a stable price. Mm -hmm. They don't get too high and they don't get too low. Okay, very good, very good example, Blanca. Anyone else? Anyone uh, else? Another example. Another example, to, uh, teacher, can be the the um, uh, service company like Claro. Uh, Movistar, Tigo, they have different prices, for example, in, in different contracts. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Anyone else? Thank you, Miguel. Anyone else? Where would you see a status quo? Where would you see that? I can tell you right now a good place where they set this um, status quo is in the market in the market right in the market not all in the in the in the whole sector but for the most part for example if you go buy bananas right if you go buy bananas and they're fresh bananas not not the old ones where they're like 
twenty for a dollar. I'm not talking about those, right? I'm talking about fresh bananas. They look nice, good. They have good appeal. Se acuerdan esa palabra appeal, right? They're appealing. What do, is there like a status quo? Like you won't go like there's a there's a a woman or a lady selling all right, right salmon for a dollar, right? Or eight for a dollar, for example. Do you think that the next person or or two two places after her they're going to be selling it for twelve for a dollar or four for a dollar? No, they're going to be pretty much relevant, right? They're going to be relevant. They're going to be almost similar, right? Similar in pricing. That way, there won't be any wars. No hay peleas como, oh, le están vendiendo menos para ganar los clientes. Ah, y empiezan, right? And then there's going to be a little bit of war. So you, you avoid price wars with competitors. So you stay, you pretty much have a stable price. Just like some of you mentioned, right? Some of you mentioned communications and, and uh, uh, Blanca mentioned gas companies, right? There won't be price war. Or for example, um, the fare when you get on the bus, right? Do they charge different rutas? Do they charge different prices? I'm talking about the regular buses. Not the specials, right? Or something like that. Regular, they're what, 20 cents or something like that? For a quarter. For a quarter, right? But if you get on the next unit, are they going to charge you 50 cents? No, right? They're going to charge you. So they, they maintain the same price. If you get on uh, La Ruta 4 or, or, or whichever bus route you take, they don't change prices. Right? <laughs> yeah, all right. So that, that's what it means by status quo. There's no very big difference in pricing, right? Not very big difference in price, so there won't be any wars. All right, that was just a little bit of vocabulary to get you familiarized with pricing objectives. Let me... Let me go, let me see here. Now, go to this page right here, page 19, page 19 on your, mo your book or your module. And I'm going to call on Abigail, yes. Re read this part right here, please. Analyze. Analyze the components of the product and price strategies of a famous national product or service. Okay. Now that we were, now that we have talked about pricing and objectives and the strategies that companies use to to acquire or to give a price of a product. On page 19 of your book or your module, you can read this or you can see it here on the screen. You're going to analyze online a product, a famous national product, and tell me what is the strategy? What is the price strategy? And I'm going to give you an example. If you go online and you look for Dell, who mentioned Dell? Was it was it you, Abigail? Yes, right? Yes, yes. Okay. Now, if you go online and you see the pricing strategy, the price strategy, okay, pricing strategy, strategies for Dell. For Dell. Okay. Can you see the screen right here, what I wrote? Yes? Okay. Yes. Pricing strategies yes. for Dell, all right? This is for Dell. Uh, and this is just how, how they see themselves. And you can look online and see this. You can see this and many more. They're probably different, different. Uh, different uh, options or different forms. But I just got this one, right? 
It says Dell follows comparative lower price to match the customer's expectation of value for money. All right, so they focus on value. They uh, uh, low inventory costs. They focus on low inventory costs. So that means they don't spend too much on inventory. Venden bastante, right? <laughs> no, tienen, no tienen tanto en inventario, right? Low inventory costs and direct, direct distribution, right? O sea, que ellos no sostienen el producto en bodegado, right? So that is some of the pricing strategies for Dell, right? They depend on suppliers' price. So they have suppliers, right? They say, okay, I want 500, I want 300. So they, they say, and they're going to buy it in relation to how much they sell the product to the customer or the consumer. Customization. What do you think this is? What pricing strategy for Dell? What do you think is customization? Hmm, we, I see a word here that we have seen at the beginning, I think at unit one. We saw this word, right? So based on prior knowledge on unit one, where we talked about appeal and features, what do you think is customization? What do you think that is? Why would Dell talk about this? We're talking about Dell computers. What do you think that is? What are they talking about? Customization. I think they're talking about changing some some um, I don't know how to say it. Uh, specialties like um, the hard drive to SSD, yeah. mm -hmm. um, the video card, uh, or the 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 processor, the uh, things like that. The CPU, the central processor. The CPU, the, yeah. Okay, yes, you are correct, Fabio. That is correct. When we talk about a company that can say, you know what, we can customize your computer to your to your liking, to however you want it, we can customize it. So he has optional feature pricing. Wow, right? So I can call Dale and say, Dale, I want a customized computer. I want asset, just like Fabio said, I want it this way. Can you Make it happen, sure. We'll make it happen. So customization, customize, a custom feature. And sometimes cars come like that also, right? Some cars are customized also. I want leather seats in my Cadillac, huh? Freddy? <laughs> I want uh, power windows in my Lexus, right? <laughs> Freddy, you know what I'm getting at, man. You know what I'm talking about, right? So. This is customization, where it gives the customer the ability to to get what he or she wants in a customized product, right? Now, the pricing, right? Of course, it's going to be a little bit higher, but the customer is what he is what the customer wants. All right, and then we have no price tag effect and pricing strategy based on customers' need. So they base their pricing based on customer needs. Now, does Dell produce only laptops that are over $1,000? No. No, right? Depending on customer's needs. Some people may need it just to work on, on Word and PowerPoint, right? Or some people might want it for their children, but we know uh, no Google, none of that, right? Only for homeworks. And it's probably going to be cheaper, right? Because it doesn't have all the features that a normal other laptop, like a professional one or gamer or anything higher, right? As you can, as you know, gamer is a customized product, right? It's referring to customization. Okay. And this is just an example of pricing strategies for Dell, for Dell. Let me see. All right. Let's let me clear this.
Okay, I'm going to take the second attendance, and then we are going to do a group activity. So you will do a, a pricing strategy of a company. And you can look for it online. Okay, now I can give you four if you want. They're, they are already there. Uh, Pepsi, Coca-Cola, Dell, and um, I can't remember the other one that I looked for. And it has already online the pricing strategy for that company. I want to say it was a car, but I can't remember which one. I will, I will remember here in a minute. Okay, let me get the the attendance here. Ah, BMW. It was BMW. Okay. If you go online, you can find the the pricing strategies for those companies, or you can you can find and look for your own. So. I found like Dell that I showed you right now in class, and th that was just a part. There's many more, right? It's more more than just that, all right? Uh, BMW, Coca-Cola, Pepsi, and Dell. Those are the ones that I saw, but I didn't check for all the products. But if you can find some more, please feel free. And what I want you to do is find the pricing strategies of those companies that which is let me see which is what we're talking about here okay on page 19 of your module here um analyze the component price strategies of a famous national product or service it can be a service also okay abigail Present. Okay, thank you. Beatriz. Present. All right. Blanca. Present. Okay, Brenda. Present. Okay, Carlos. Present teacher. Thank you. Diana. Diana. Okay, you're here, but okay. Edwin. Present. Okay, thank you. Flor? Present. All right. Francisco? Present. Okay, thank you. Freddy? Yes. All right, thank you. Glenda? Present. Okay, thank you. Iris? Present. Okay, thank you. Jackie? Jackie? Present. Okay, thank you. Jarvin? Present. Thank you. Jennifer? Present teacher. Thank you. Juan Jose. Juan Jose. Okay. Yeah, he had connection, right? Earlier he said he was using his last megabytes. Okay, Miguel. I'm here. Okay, thank you. Roberto. Present. Okay, thank you. Rolando. I'm here. Okay. Janari. Okay, all right. Okay, let's continue. Okay, pricing strategies. Also, keep in mind that when we talk about big corporations and big companies, right? A lot of these big corporations and big companies, they are in the stock market. Okay. Muchas de estas compañías están en la bolsa de valores, right? In, in the stock market in the United States. And any company that goes public can go to one of these uh, markets, right? Markets where you can invest. Let me see, share screen.
Okay. Now, this is the module page 19, and we're going to do this activity here before we do the reading. And we are going to focus on something like this, like I wrote to you earlier, this was from Dale, right? And what I want you to do is go online. So you're going to go online, let me write it here. In groups, go online and find just like the instructions say on page 19 right find a product or service in groups go online and find a product or services and or service and give a brief analysis We give a brief analysis of the pricing strategy. So that is the instruction, all right? You're going to go online and find, remember like I mentioned, what did I say? Dell, I found Dell. What else did I say? Pepsi. BMW. BMW, right? BMW and Coca-Cola or Coke, right? Coca-Cola, I think it's listed like that. All right. And try to try to understand the pricing strategy of that company. So you can get a better understanding of how they set their prices, right? So you're going to do and give a brief analysis. Ah, I misspell analysis with a Y. All right, analysis of the pricing strategy. That's what we're looking for, pricing strategy, okay? Nothing else, just the pricing strategy or anything relating to pricing of the product or or the company how do they set their uh their pricing and i'm going to put you in groups and then you let me know can you see stop share okay you can take a picture of this just in case you might ask or another classmate ask hey que vamos a hacer? what was he talking about here it is right here Breakout rooms. Remember, you can share screen and try to get everyone involved so y'all can communicate and figure out everything that is said. You ready? One, two, three. Talk about it also. In a, in the group. Let me see.
Okay. So, good. Of this one, do you want to choose or do you want to choose other one? Mm. Well, I choose this share could be uh, an strategy in general. So we have to choose some company. You have to choose a company so you can see what their pricing strategy is. Ah, okay. All right, that way you can get familiarized with some companies that, that use those strategies, right? Of pricing, to set the price of the product. Now, you if you know of a company already, you can you can feel free to do it that way also, right? But you have to specify, for example, what company it is, and then give their strategies, right? What strategies okay. do they use, right? You can do that. Okay. 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 How many times? How many minutes? Oh, How much time? Have to brief uh, to do the activity yeah okay to do this activity you have about maybe eight minutes um, so you have okay. time, eight minutes and then when we go back to the main session uh, each one of each one of you one of you decide who is going to give the brief analysis or you can split it okay one mm -hmm. minute or two minutes just a brief analysis of the uh pricing strategies right i showed you one for dale right I showed you one for Dell, but you can select others, right? I know there's some online for Dell, like a missionary Pepsi, Coca-Cola, and BMW, right? I don't know other products. Maybe you know of others that you can find online. You can say, thank you, teacher. You, you can Google and say pricing strategies for y pon el nombre de la compañía. Ah, okay, okay. okay. Thank you. Yeah. All right. Thank you so much, teacher. Okay, no problem. Jennifer. Jennifer? Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes, teacher. I thought you wanted to do the activity, the last activity. That's what I thought. All right. Yo pensé que quería hacer la actividad anterior, pero no más uh, la actividad de hoy quería hacer. Yes, teacher. Ah, okay. I misunderstood. I thought que quería hacer la actividad hoy, la de ayer. Okay. Uh, about the new product. Yes. Uh, that's what I thought. Okay, no problem, no problem. Okay? You can do the one for today. All right? No problem. Okay. okay. All right. Thank you so much. All right, no problem. I understand, Jennifer. All right. used to have they used to have a free free delivery at, at the at the beginning where the mm -hmm. app started do you remember that yes Some companies do that because they want to to know what kind of service they provide if you yes. try something you have experience about okay. that but if you don't know uh, for example in in a restaurant some restaurants give you samples when they want to introduce a new product a new food in the menu they do that because they want to know what kind of food they going to 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 sell to sell in, in the restaurant uh, they know if the customer are agree or not agree with the new with the new product. I think uh, the delivery works in the in the in the same in the same way. If you know what kind of service they going to provide, maybe the next time you are going to call them to to do something to to get a delivery okay yes 
Okay, uh, I just want to to add something. What company are you talking about here? Remember, you have to put the company. Yes, deliver, yeah. Deli delivers, delivery service, uh, the name, pedidos, ya. Yeah. Ah, okay, very good. Okay, excellent, excellent. Okay, continue. Very good. Pedidos, ya, yeah, okay. right? Yeah, I remember when they first started. <laughs> uh, they have grown significantly. Okay, great. Did you know I lose connection? Okay. Let me see. Janari, you were with. Yes, teacher. Uh, you which group were you with? I, I I don't have any group because I lost connection. Okay. All right. Okay, so I need you. I need to add you to one. Okay. I'm going to put you in. Mm -hmm. Okay, there you go, Yanari. Thank you.
before I prepare, I try to find Google and prepare that what I want to say. Yeah. And we need to prepare a presentation for this Teacher, case. We will we talk about uh no, iPhone. You, okay. iPhone. You don't have to give like uh, prepare anything. All you're going to do is give a brief. Remember, I put brief. the instruction brief. I'll go breve. A brief analysis. That's it. For example, you can say, yeah, what did you say? iPhone? What was it? App? What was uh, it? iPhone, iPhone 8. Okay. iPhone 8. So you, you're going to talk about the pricing strategy of the iPhone 8. That's it. Yeah, but we, we don't have a specific price. Yeah, we have a uh, strategy. Exactly. Uh, the we iPhone like uses uses with iPhone eight in ninety in twenty two thousand seventeen. Yeah, and we talk about to, to these strategies. Exactly the strategies. Yeah. Hello. Not strategies. Not the history or anything like that. Okay. And yeah, nothing. like. Uh, a short history about the, about this. Mm -mm. Not no, the, not the history. That is not pricing strategy. All right. And let me see. When I showed you this as an example, remember, uh -huh. this was the pricing strategy for Dell. Dell, uh -huh. right? This is not a history about Dell. These are the strategies that the company use uses to set a price. These are the strategies. So that's why not, not every product is going to be online with the pricing strategy. But if you can find, for example, you can type pricing strategies for, uh, what was the, the price? What was the product? iPhone. iPhone, iPhone right? iPhone you, 8. The pricing strategies for iPhone or who makes iPhone? Que nos hace? Where you have to Apple. Look for, okay, Apple. so you have to look for Apple because that is the company. The company, la compañía is not called iPhone. The company is Apple. Okay, Apple. So you have to look for the company. For example, Dell. I look for Dell. That is the name of the company, Dell. So you look for the company strategies, the pricing strategies of a product, but in relation to the company. So for example, this is Dell, right? And if you Google pricing strategies for Coca-Cola, that is Coca-Cola, Pepsi, BMW, not everything is online. There's going to be some products that you will find nothing. Hay algunos productos que no encuentran nada right but there are some that public they put it to public use okay but not everything is there Desde lo garantizo, yo busqué por muchos. i think i look for uh, uh other apps or something like that i couldn't find some yes glenda yes in, in the case of apple in we are talking about that Apple decided to carry out the strategy of launching three types of models. Ah, uh, very launched, good. When they launched iPhone 8, uh, this did be divided in three models. For example, uh, iPhone 8, iPhone X, and iPhone, I don't know. But uh, this, the Apple uh, qualify in, the models and good, better, and superior, uh, which allows to have a price menu for attract diverse audiences. Ah, uh, very good. Ahí vamos. Excellent. Yes. Diverse. The palabra is diverse. Sorry? The pronunciation is diverse. 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 Yes. Diverso, right? Diverse. And diverse. Yes. Diverse. Diverse. Okay. Yeah, this is this is the, the case of Apple. Very good, or, yes. Daibamo, yes, you, you're in the right direction. That's what I'm looking for. That's what I'm looking for, yes. So if you can talk about that and maybe share it, ustedes pueden compartir pantalla of something that you look for online. That way you can be aware or you can just talk about it and you can be knowledgeable of 
the uh, the company their pricing strategies. Yes, that's good. That's good. All right. So it could be one of you that could give a one minute analysis. You decide who, right? As yes. a group. As a group, okay. you decide who wants to share. But I would like for you. Apple has decided to carry this trial. Yeah. Exactly, exactly, uh, Glenda. Exactly. That is a strategy, right? That is a strategy. Great. Okay. Maybe about five more minutes. Okay. Okay. Thank you, thank teacher. You. No problem. Good job. Good job. Okay. Thank you. Oh, is it with uh with some uh Zeta? Okay. Zeta. No, Samsung. No. Uh, in the case of iPhone, it's the iPhone 13. Okay. Maybe. Remember that we're looking for strategies. Yeah, try strategy pricing, right? Exactly. Pricing strategy. So what yeah. are the what what do you have so far? Okay, look at the uh, well we have all the theory about that. Okay, tell we me. We are searching about the strategies of Samsung. They have two strategies. Oh yeah. They use the skimming pricing. <laughs> the skimming <laughs> pricing, okay. Yeah, I think that that it's one, right? Yes. <laughs> and they use it. They use it when they launch a new, a new series of the of the product. A line or something uh, like that. Yeah. And the another one, I don't remember. <laughs> it's but competitive I, pricing. So if I tell what? you what, what competitor. What Ah, yeah, competitive pricing. Okay, yeah. so if I ask you what is skimming pricing, what what is that? Skimming pricing. Skimming prices. Well, right? when I I reading about it, it's when a new line or a new product is launched, they with a, with a high price, right? Yeah, they use that strategies to attract to attract the, the customers and see all the benefits that they going to receive with the product and the price they put. Exactly. Yeah. So the skimming price is like se le llama skimming. I know it sounds a little like mm, right skimming, right? Como scamming, <laughs> skimming, right? It's like they set a price, they launch a price, they launch a product, and they say, okay, we have this new product, but it costs a thousand dollars, right? Oh, and a lot of people are like, ah, oh, you can eat, right? It's a new product, I don't care, right? I don't, that's skimming, right? They set a high price and then they lower it. So los primeros que compran pagan mucho más que los que se esperan unos meses. Right, so that is skimming pricing, where you set a high price to attract new audience, and then you take their money, and then you wait a little bit, and then you sell to the whole population in 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 a vast majority, and then you lower the price. Right, it is for demand. It is for demand. Uh, mm, sometimes it could be less than that. It could be for a week. Right, but yes, week, two weeks. A month and then it lowers the other one the other one is the competitive price and that it's when you the uh, when they offer a product that it's relate with the competitions exactly it's the same it's kind of the same product but they low they prices so they, they lower lower they lower their prices so they can sell more I think. exactly yeah that is correct okay select one of you that is going to speak for at least one minute and be brief about your product yeah we we are pre 
preparing the, the presentation. All right. Remember, you don't have to like give like the uh, 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 image. If you want to, you can, but you don't have to. Okay. You can just say it. You can it's just, only a guide for us. <laughs> yeah, sure. But if you want to, right? It's not an obligation, but if you want to, you can. Okay. You can share a screen and okay. I can let you do it. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's optional. Good job. Good job. Okay. All right. Continue. Okay. You have about two minutes. Okay. Um, and also, if we hello? can compare, hello, uh, a little sister. If we can compare uh, the four season pizza hat with this one, I mean it's not the same quality, but the both of them have four kind of ingredients, and people can enjoy with their family and with little scissor they mm -hmm. can enjoy it for less that's right because mm -hmm. a, a bit <laughs> okay a bit what what uh what company did you decide which company little scissor little scissors little all right Caesar. all right mm -hmm. so they have different pricing strategies with them right compared to yeah. to others just like diana said okay are one of you decide as a group who is going to give the brief analysis of the pricing strategy and the company that you are going to talk about. So select one that is going to speak, but I know that all of you have talked about it and become knowledgeable <laughs> of what the product pricing is. So be ready here in about one minute, or maybe less, we will go to the main session. Okay? Okay. All right, great. Okay. Okay. Oh, hello, Janari. Okay, class, we're back. Glad to see y'all here. I hope y'all had a good, good understanding in your group who is going to do the one minute, you know, give a brief analysis about what your pricing strategy is and the company that you will be speaking about. So let's begin with, um, Group number one, which was Diana, Freddy, Miguel, and Fabio. Who is going to your group number one? You were in room number one. So who's going to do the brief analysis as a group? So I, I will, teacher. Take note. Okay, great. <clears throat> okay, so we uh, we find, we choose Little Caesar as the company. All right, Little Caesars. <laughs> Little Caesars. Uh, what we find about Little Caesar is that they try to minimize their expenses, their, mm -hmm. their expenses, while while still offering some premium ingredients and customer service. Uh, about this, we find that they to to achieve this, they don't do delivery service, mm -hmm. and they does uh, they also don't have a. Uh, uh, in the restaurant, a uh, place to eat there mm -hmm. because they only offer uh, the, the pizzas to <clears throat> to take and go to just to order. They only have the restaurant to order, so with that they can manage 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 their their expenses their expenses because this way they don't pay uh, 
the drivers. They don't pay uh, a big space because they can work in a, in a very little space. This, one, this way they reduce the expense of uh, rent. And very they good. only pay the salary of their local employees. So they maintain the, the low cost and offering the tasty pizza. All right, very good, excellent. And <clears throat> A very good analysis, very good uh, research, because I know you did research on the internet. That's very good. That's what I was expecting for everyone to do. Do a little research and be able to analyze it and conclude it in a simple way as Fabio just did. Very good. And the key point was managing expenses, right? Very good. Excellent. So Little Caesars, that's what their pricing strategy is, right? Their main I'm pretty sure they have more, but very good. Very good, Fabio. Very good, uh, group number one. Excellent work. Very good. Group number two was Abigail, Beatriz, Brenda, and Francisco. Who is going to speak for number two? I guess it's Beatriz, huh? Yes. Okay. Yeah. We choose a, a company for delivery. Uh, but I forget the, the name, the company Abigail suggests this company. Um, Was it Pedidos, yeah? Yeah. But I have a good memory. <laughs> I was in the group <laughs> and I remember, right? Pedidos, yeah. Yeah, all right, very good. Yes, that's the company. This company, um, you had to pay according to the, to the distance. So they had different, different prices. And they usually adapt the service according to the to the customer's purchase capacity. And sometimes they offer free prices uh, when they are introduction, when they want to introduction to, to the market. And sometimes they offer two low prices, low prices. Um, they offer uh, lower prices than the competitors, and they had a coverage where there is a demo of the service, and they had a good quality of the service. They go after to the satisfaction customers, and they give immediately response. They offer product assurance. This is. Uh, for something uh, is the mesh, or they maybe if they lo lost the package or something like that, they provide a product assurance. Okay, very good. Product assurance. Very good. All right. Thank you, Beatriz. That is awesome. Well done. Excellent, right? She talked about pedidos ya. Yeah. And you're probably wondering, teacher, ¿cómo sabía que era pedido ya, yeah, right? Because I enter all the rooms. Yo entré a cada una de las, de los rooms. So I remember everything that you talk about. And I keep track of everything, right? I write everything down also, right? That's just the way I work. So very good, Beatriz. Excellent, right? You also mentioned about sometimes they offer free or low prices. That is true because I use that app i use that service and i remember at one point it was free delivery right also to attract customers right and then they put the price now they charge a little bit now right but as a customer i still use it because i like their service so thank you beatriz you share something that i use so thank you thank you thank good you. job excellent right and quality yes they do have quality very good excellent Room number three was uh, Glenda, Iris, and Rolando. Who is going to speak? Me, teacher. All right, great. Uh, we talk about uh, pricing strategies for Apple. Okay. Apple has decided to carry out the strategy of launching three types of models uh, for iPhone. Uh, good, better, and uh, superior. <laughs> All right, superior. Yeah. Superior, yeah. Uh, the idea is 
to have a price menu to attract to attract a diverse audience. Yeah. Uh, this is um, an, an implementation of price psychology. Uh, the one that consists of offering customer different options to identify uh, their perception uh, of value. These options seek to generate the unchoring effect. Um, uh, which consists of the comparison with the highest price with into the long run leads people to acquire the product with superior characters, characteristics. This is the strategy that follow uh, Apple. Okay. All right. Very good. Very good analysis. Very good. Very good. Excellent. I like uh, that you mentioned the, the, the one of the strategies is attract Diverse, 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 diverse yeah. audience, right? A yeah. diverse audience, right? And then you introduce a little bit of psychology, right? Very good. The psychological effect of pricing, right? You're like, okay, a high price and it causes a psychological yeah. effect with a superior product, superior. Very good. Thank you, Rolando. Excellent. Well done. Very You're welcome. Good. All right. Now, group number four was um jackie jarvin and jennifer okay teacher we was watching some some companies and we used to talk about company as per words the clothes okay okay columbia sportwares is to provide a set to the cost consumer to good quality and durably product and excessive price. Columbia works and give the price is the is adapting the need of the customer because mm -hmm. they have some quality of the product. It depends the the quality or the products are making. It, this is the price that the product has. Very good. And, very good. And they adapt to the all the necessity that the person has very good excellent good job very good very good uh, uh closing very good closing on on your product and you mentioned accessible price right is it accessible right some people in certain areas they can't pay for something at a high price so they put a product that is accessible and also adaptive to the needs of the customer right very good, All right, Jarvin. Very good done. Well done. Very good. Excellent. Group number five. It was Blanca, Carlos, and Flor. That is the last group. Blanca, okay. Carlos, and Flor. Okay. I'm going to talk about the pricing strategies of Samsung. The first one is the scheming prices, a, a pricing approach in which the producer sets a high introductory price to attract buyers. Okay. That's talking about uh, when the when Samsung uh, launched a new product, and if you see what is the price you always going to make the the i don't know the the explanation that why it's so high price and, and that it's because they offer uh, a unique product so we we put an example uh, the samsung S20 uh, with the mark of BTS because they put a unique uh, mark on the phone. So that make the price higher. Okay, but, very good. Uh, they, offer, they offer a unique product for the customers. And the second one, it's a competitive pricing. And is the process of selecting a strategic price points 
to best take advantage of a product or service by base market relative to competitions. Competitive pricing consists of selling, of setting the price at the same level as one of competitors. In the image, you can see uh, the competitive uh, pricing of Galaxy six, S6 six, and the iPhone 6. They have the same, some of the same uh, qualities of the competitions, uh, but the prices is lower. So you can, you as a buyer, you can choose between, between the two and that it's a competitive pricing. Okay, very good. Very good. <laughs> very good. Excellent, right? Excellent. Now, um, very good. You use a, a good terminology there. Skimming price, right? The skimming pricing, right? When you launch a new product, you want to attract new customers. So you set the price high. That is skimming. You set the price high, you attract a lot of people. Then when it lower, when it slows down, then you lower everything and everybody else can buy it, right? So that is what is skimming price. Very good, Blanca. Very good uh, points and very good, excellent. Well done, everyone. Good participation. And I entered the groups and everybody was doing interactive communication. Well done. Very good. Good job. Applause. Right? I see somebody with a class right there. Glenda has the little hands right there. Good job, right? All right. Very good. Let's do the last attendance. Abigail. Abigail, is she still here? All right. Let me see. Present. Okay, thank you. Beatriz? Present. Okay, very good. Blanca? Present. Very good. And let me see. Brenda? Brenda? Okay. Uh, Carlos? I'm here. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Okay, Diana? Present. Okay, Edwin? Okay, no answer. Flor? Present. Thank you, Francisco. Present, teacher. All right, Freddy's. I'm here. Okay, Glenda. Present. Okay, Iris. Pre Present, teacher. Okay, Jackie. Present. Okay, Jarvin. Present, teacher. Okay, thank you, Jennifer. I'm here, teacher. Okay, thank you. Juan Jose. Okay, uh, connection from Miguel. I'm here. All right. Thank you, Roberto. I mean, Fabio. Present. All right, thank you. Rolando. I'm here. All right, thank you. And Janari. Okay. All right, class. Um, today, the one that stays is Francisco. You stay today for the extra 10 minutes, okay? Everyone else, good night, take care, and we'll continue tomorrow, and tomorrow we're going to do some grammar, okay? Okay. All right. We have to finish the unit two, right? For tomorrow. Mm, no. In the platform? No. 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 You, you can if you um, want to, but it's not an obligation right now. You can if you okay. want to. We don't finish unit two till next week. Okay. Until what number we have to finish? Uh, right now you can just do, you remember there's not, there's not something that you have to. It's that you can continue to go, but unit two, esta, esta si es una fecha fija. By next Wednesday, you're supposed to have everything finished in the exam. Okay. Okay. Okay, so you're good right now. All right. But just remember that you can continue on the platform. All right? Okay, thank you. Thank okay, you. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Thank you. Good night, everybody. All right. Thank you. Have a good night. Thank All right. you. Bye bye. Bye Mike. Bye. -bye. <laughs> bye, Rolando. All right. Hello, Francisco.
Hello, teacher. Hi, how are you? Good, and you? I'm doing great. Okay. Let me... A little tighter because it's a little nighting. A little what? No, uh, tarde, late. A little late. <laughs> late. Yeah. A little late, huh? So, do you have any questions or anything uh, that you will or you would like to just conversate, talk, uh, pronunciation, whatever you would like to speak about? Yes, I, I, I have a. A question of um, must be uh, I need uh, help because uh, I am trying uh, in yesterday yesterday I I to try to complete the the activities of the platform but okay. I I have a question in what is the In, I I do not remember what is the, the the number of the of the page, but it is. Can you can you try it, to find it? Can you try yes, to find it? Yes, I in this moment I I am um, try to try to find it, and I can help search. you. And I can help you uh, here, and we can okay. we can get that cleared. Podemos aclarar ya esa duda. We can clear okay. that out and just, we have time yes. Try to find it. Mm -hmm. In section two, right? Yes. Two point, two point two. Dos punto dos, tarea dos punto dos. Okay, two point two, right? Two point two. It talked about the four P's. Yes. Uh, you're talking about part one or part two? Uh, part one. Part one. In the question number five. Okay. What are four P's? Okay. What are the four P's? Yes. Mm. It's a marketing mix mm. or no? Yes. Pero cuáles son las cuatro P's? ¿Qué significan? Ahí está en el, en el manual. Ah, I... I try to to fill out the, the, this part, but uh, I only put or enter marketing mix. No. I, I try. I try, okay. I, I, I try to. Okay. Uh, it is. It is. Pero ahí está preguntando cuáles son las cuatro P's, right? The four um, P's, right? See, you are correct as far as que eso es lo que las cuatro P's, the four P's are what make up the okay. the mix right uh -huh. pero pero cuáles son esas cuatro the meaning of the four p's yes or what no not the meaning no dice la definición sino que cuáles son what are the four p's cuáles son las right. four p's uh -huh. price product mm -hmm. promotion place vaya hay eso Oh, okay. I I have an issue because I entered only marketing price. Um, enter the the definition, <laughs> but yeah. no, but, it, it's simple. What are the four mm -hmm. P's? It's todo, right? All right. Okay. Okay. Hey, aquí está right here. Product, price, mm -hmm. place. Of, but remember, la primera va en mayúscula. Ya sí. Dale. Product. Mm -hmm. Product, mm -hmm. price, um, place, uh, 
poner las minúsculas, las que siguen. Vamos a ver. Ah, ok. Ok, ahí está ahí. ¿Qué dale? Price. Price. Comma, space, all right. Uy. Place. Uh -huh. um, what is promotion? Uh -huh. Promotion. Okay. Oh. Can you see? Yeah. A ver. Go up. Yes, it is true. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I, I am in, uh, intentando. Uh, uh, intending, right? Intended. Uh, intending, but uh, uh, in, I, I, I am blocked because I don't know what is the, the, the problem. Wow, he, he, I entered the, 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 the meeting, but I know nothing in, in, in the, only the, the four words product price place and promotion okay all right so there you go you see Yes, it's good. <laughs> you feel well, better? Thank you, teacher, because yeah, no. I don't know what happened. Yeah. With, it's because, with uh, you know what happened? Uh, you complicated yourself, right? Yes. You complicated a little bit yourself. It was simple, right? You knew it, right? And AI is selling all the videos, right? Those are all the yes. videos. I think that it is the only in this part I have a problem. All but right. I I don't know finish it the, the, the You finish everything already? No, 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 no. Okay. No yet. All right. Tomorrow but I don't yes. If you ever have any questions, okay, you can always ask me. Okay? Mm -hmm. Just yes. remember, just remember to send me the um the the unit mm -hmm. and the and the number just like you said 2.2 right I see oh, okay. okay always okay. tell me because because I have other classes also right and sometimes you know I can't remember all the questions right from mm -hmm. different beginners intermediate beginner one beginner two right and it's like it's just to give me all you have to do is send me the number Right, mm -hmm. and then I can uh, see what the problem is because sometimes the the platform might be a little uh, a little different. Okay, mm -hmm. so okay. I, I can give you the correct way to 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 finish a question. Okay, okay. That way you won't be like over and over and get frustrated, mm -hmm. frustrated. Right, All right, especially in. Um, Go down a little bit. Let me see this top part where it says two point. Go over here a la once, two point mm -hmm. eleven, dos punto once. Okay. Two point eleven, la última. Sí. Go there. This is the exam intermediate, no. No, the last right there on the la dos punto once. Yes. Ahí yes. Está, yes. Right there. All right. Two point eleven. All right. Mm -hmm. Let me see right here. Where you use enough. You should complete the sentences using the information in parentheses. Mm -hmm. um, we are going to. No. Look, we are going to do that tomorrow. We are going to look at that, right? Mm -hmm. But uh, um, there is one, aquí, aquí hay una donde no se le va a poner enough. Okay, so mm -hmm. that's why it's good to um, to to ask, and I will mm -hmm. gladly help you, right? And it's, um, let me see, I believe it's la numero, number two, number two. Number two. Yeah. Okay. 
that one you do not put uh, enough. Or product. No, you uh huh. Offer. Offer. No. Oh, sorry. Open the space. The space. The product. Offer. Okay, estás escribiendo la mal. You're writing the wrong okay. product. Le falta la T y la S. You're missing the T. Yeah. Product. T S. C T S. There you go. Mm -hmm. Okay. Offer. Great. 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 Why great? Great features. No. Because this is the one that is a little, it's a little bit incorrect. G R E A T. G R E. Yes. E. No, it's e? G A T. Uh -huh. A T. A -T. No, A mm -hmm. A. La letra A. A T. Okay. Features. Dale space. Features. Ahí está lo demás. Features and benefits. Mm -hmm. Um, oh. Yes, period. Okay. Oh, yeah. All right. Oh. Yeah. You see, this is oh. a little mistake, a little yeah. error, because uh -huh. the instructions dice complete the sentences using the information in parentheses and enough. And enough. Mm -hmm. Yeah, esta es la única que no va a llevar enough. Ahora, it's not, it's not my, it's not like I did it, you know. No es que yo sea, mm -hmm. sino que those are little things que yo les tengo que decir a ustedes que a veces está incorrecta, right? No es que está incorrecta, sino que uh, enough wasn't added. No fue agregada mm -hmm. a la oración. That's all that is. Okay. And, all right, the rest will have enough. Las demás iban a oh. llevar enough. All okay. Right? All right, so you can uh, uh, you can do those and then let me know uh, later or tomorrow how well you did. Okay. Mm -hmm. If you ever have any questions, you can always ask me. Okay, Francisco. Okay, no, no, uh, all is clear, teacher. Okay, great. I was glad. I'm glad I I was able to help you. Okay. Mm -hmm. no, no. And thank you for asking. The no, thank thank you uh, you for, for for your help um and share your knowledge with with me. No problem, no problem. I that's why I became a teacher to teach and help everyone, okay. help everyone that wants to be helped. Okay. okay, Francisco, thank you. Continue. You're doing a great job, and I hope to okay. see you tomorrow. Okay. 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 Thank you, you teacher. Okay, no problem. I'll see you tomorrow, Francisco. See you tomorrow, teacher. Good night. Good night.